What's hiding underneath things can be scary. Underwater, under your bed, especially what's under your carpet. Except when you get new carpet from Carpet One Floor and Home. After tearing up your old carpet, they'll vacuum and apply Healthinex antimicrobial to your subfloor, disinfecting and killing mold, mildew, and any remaining general awfulness. Carpet One Floor and Home goes the extra mile to protect you, your family, and your home. Carpet One Floor and Home in Columbia, making your home beautiful, guaranteed. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on this first day of June 2020. Good afternoon. And I've got Linda Godwin with us for Columbia Climate Change. And uh, (laughs) what is the second or third time you've been with us? I think it's the third. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, thank you. You're you're here to tell talk to us about Columbia Climate Change. And this being uh, the first of June, you wanted to tie that in. Well, um, so our whole CAP, which has an extra A in it, CAAP, Climate Action and Adaptability Plan, was signed in June, actually. Well, it was approved by the city council in June of 2019, the 17th of June, I believe. So we're coming up on the two-year anniversary this month. Um, You know, something that started being developed in 2017, it has all these goals and action items, and we're working on it. And we had a year of where you just kind of try to get started, and then we had a year of COVID. Right. You know, here we're coming up on our two-year anniversary, and we really want to, you know, recognize that and how we're going to dig in and make some changes. Why is why is this so important? In your own words. Um, it's important because we care about our planet, we care about our community, and there are changes that humans are producing on this planet. And small things can make a big impact in the global balance. And so we see changes here. And there's things that we can do as a community, municipal and, you know, residential, to make a difference. Do you think that we have the ability as humans to make the changes that need to be made to try to save this planet of ours? Um. I do believe it's possible. I, you know, it's challenging. It is challenging. Um, I want to see our community be a leader. I want to see our country be a leader. It does count on individuals to do the right thing. And there's value in even um, uh, slowing down. There's value in not reaching, you know, a higher temperature quicker. You know, we can, right. we can do a lot. We may be able to do some things with science to correct it as well, but we need human involvement definitely to do it. And actually, part of this is understanding that maybe we can't fix everything, but part of our, cl- our cap is also sustainability. So what changes do you anticipate we're going to make as a community and as a state and as a country to adapt? So there's also adaptation as well as trying to take action. I, one of the biggest problems, the way I see it, is you have to convince enough people <clears throat> that we really do have a problem, that there is global warming, and unless we do something about it, in the long run, we're heading towards disaster. How do you convince enough people <laughs> of that? Because there are folks who are skeptics. I I can I can really get dismayed by that when I think about it, because I agree with everything you just said. So, you know, some of it helps if there's national leadership, then things happen differently um, along the lines that we need to see. If if you can make it more affordable, if you can make it more healthful, if you can improve people's lives at the same time, you know, then you can say, well, why not do this? For example, if the air is better, if you save costs on your energy, you know, if you... Uh, we can try to tell people to just do the simple thing of changing their thermostat a degree or two. We'd like to see more, but every little bit helps, you know, to lower the temperature in the winter, raise it a little bit in the summer. Maybe you don't believe you need to do that for climate change, but you'll see a change in your electric you bill. You save money. So and, 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 and the other thing approach is Approach like, it other ways. Right. Yeah. Uh, putting in LED light bulbs, taking yes. out the incandescent yeah. lights. And then you'll find some people ridicule you for doing that. Okay, if you're not doing it to try to help the planet... Do it for yourself to yeah. save some money. If you use less energy, it helps your pocketbook. Right. It helps greenhouse gas emissions, too. And also what the city can do as we change our energy portfolio of where our energy comes from, we just are collecting greener energy that go out to the homes. You know, so, And as, as electric cars get more, uh, if the cost goes down, a lot of manufacturers are talking about setting goals now of when 
they're not going to even make gas-powered right. vehicles. So, you know, as the cost comes down and availability changes, there will be a change. What about solar panels? Um, I, you know, I, I put them on my house, so obviously I'm a fan. Um, there is a footprint. You know, people will say, well, there's a footprint carbon for producing those, and that's true, but there's it's still a win in the end. You know, you still gain. And I had some good solar exposure. I was able to put them on. But uh, if people are interested in that, they can go to, um, you know, the water, Columbia Water and Light and look at their website, and they offer rebates on solar panels. They offer low-interest loans. The cost is coming down. And some people have told me, I have a friend that told me that she was able, she got some panels on her house, and her loan payment was equal to or less than her monthly energy bill that she was paying before. So, I mean, in, all in all, her, yes, not that she was to... totally able to offset her electricity, exactly. but it, it's affordable. It's becoming affordable. So and look the same into thing it. with Boone Electric, I believe, has a, uh, it has a sustainability. Um, yeah, they encourage it, and mine is actually through Boone Electric. So the co-op is a little bit different, um, but, you know, their rates are also different. And I, I still believe I came out ahead by putting okay. the panels on my house. And, you, you'll, and make a, you'll make it up over time. So if people want more information about the Columbia climate change and sustainability, what do they need to do? Um, you can go to uh, comoclimateaction.org. That's, I would say if you start local, that's our local website, and you can find things from there. There's uh, climate.missouri.edu that tells you a lot about what's going on in Missouri. And then if you want to go out to more global and look at climate change, there's climate.nasa.gov, and there's just climate.gov, which is a website of NOAA, the National okay. Oceanic Administration. And so you can start off with Como Climate action.org and you can you know and just do your own you know search engine search yeah. and you'll find out a lot and you said go out globally i <laughs> i, I want to mention here um now here's a lady who is concerned about the climate but she knows exactly what she's talking about because you were a nasa astronaut you went up in the space shuttle and you orbited around this beautiful planet of ours and what were you thinking when you saw Earth from space? Did it ever enter your mind saying, what are we doing? What are we doing to the planet? It made me feel more connected to the whole planet. You know, so the low Earth orbit where the shuttle went and where space station is, we orbited every 90 minutes around this planet. And there'd be a lit side and a dark side, right? Because half of our planet's illuminated at a time. So we'd get these 16 sunrises and sunsets going around our planet, lights you could see where the people were down there. We're all connected. And I realized, you know, that air I was looking at and the ocean I was looking at, it moves around the, whole, the water and the air. We share it all. We're all connected. And it's beautiful. We're the oasis in our solar yeah. system. We've got to take care of it. Thank you so much for coming. And, you know, Linda has agreed to do, we're going to do two segments with Linda in August about your preparation for the space shuttle <laughs> launch and then circling around the Earth and walking in space. And I'm, I'm so looking forward to that. Thank you very much for coming today. Thank you very much. Okay. PepperPMissouri.edu. Bye-bye.